<sighs> Life's been tough lately. I've been fighting. Uh, I live with my girlfriend. We've been fighting a lot. She tried to dump me the other day, said we couldn't get married or have a real future together because I'm not Jewish. And that really pissed me off because she's not Jewish either. <laughs> yeah. Big fight, because we have different things, you know, different interests. That's the problem. We're not into the same things. For example, I smoke pot. My girlfriend does not. I, I know it sounds like a Dr. Seuss story. <laughs> but it's a huge problem in my life, because she's always trying to get me to quit, and I'm always trying to get her to start. Because it would be easier on me if she would be just a little bit cool about it, but she's not. And I know what you're thinking. Well, don't do it around her. Duh. I don't. I go out of my way to avoid her. This is what I do, this is my routine. I wait till it's like three in the morning till she's sound asleep. I double check that she's sound asleep. I go into the bedroom, I poke her with a stick. A couple times. And then just for the added insurance, just to be sure, I use a little bit of chloroform. Not a lot. Not a lot. Just a little bit. Just mm -hmm. Then I play with her boobies and I'm out of the room. That's it. That's my rule. I'm gone. And I'm gone. I love you people. You know that's a joke about drugging a chick and feeling her up and you fucking laughed and I love you all. That's right. It's a magical word. Then I go down the hall, I go to the furthest point in our apartment, the furthest away from her, I get into a closet, I close the door, and I put a towel along the bottom of the door, right along the base. Then I turn some music up real loud. Are you like me? Do you think loud music covers the smell of pop? <laughs> turn that shit up. You know? And from there on out, man, it's always the same scene. It's always the same thing. I was like, <sighs> And then I hear footsteps coming down the hall. I haven't even exhaled, and the door swings open, and she's screaming, Stop! Stop doing drugs! Oh, my God! I can't believe that I'm dating a drug addict! Oh, my God! Drug addict. Pothead. Drug addict. I know they say pot is a gateway drug. I've smoked two joints a week for the last ten years. I've never done anything stronger. I don't even have mushrooms on my pizza. Nothing. So that's all bullshit. I've never done anything stronger, man. Then she starts guilting me. She's like, you know, every day I say a prayer to God, I'm like, oh, Lord Jesus, do not let him overdose and die on me today. Do not let him overdose on the pot and die on me, because I can see it. I'm going to come home, and there you're going to be. You're going to be laid on the couch, and you're going to be dead. You're going to be fat. You're going to be bloated. You're going to be stinky. You're going to have flies circling all around your body. You're going to have the family guy on again. I know it. There's going to be a joint burned down to your lips, and you're going to be dead, and I don't want you to die. <laughs> I don't want you to die until we're married and you have life insurance. How do you, how do you fight with that? I mean, will you smoke this and chill the fuck out, please? <laughs> she won't do it. She won't try it, because pot is a drug, and all drugs are bad. That's what she believes, because that's what she learned in D.A.R.E. class. <laughs> oh, my God. Can we talk for a second about how a failure the drug D.A.R.E. program is? Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to prove it to you right now. D.A.R.E. graduates in this room, I want you to think back to that class. Now, you tell me honestly, how many kids from that class have you gotten high with since? Man, I swear to God, I've gotten high with every person in my D.A.R.E. class, including the cop that taught the class. <laughs> but, but she's their success story, my beloved. She believes what they teach, and this is the problem. This is why they fail, because what they teach is that all drugs are equally harmful, and they're not. But now in her mind, pot is every bit as dangerous as cocaine, or heroin, or carbs. <laughs> she begs me to quit. I finally got so sick about hearing it, I, I gave in. I was like, all right, I can't, I can't fight. You win. I'm going to quit. Here's the deal. You show me conclusive proof that what I'm doing is harmful. I will take the shit, and I will throw it away. I wouldn't throw it away. I'd sell it to a kid. <laughs> it's out of the house. Don't judge me. 
So she went online and she found a study that proved her point and it took her all three fifths of a second. Thanks a lot, Google. <laughs> study said that they found proof that pot smoke is five times more cancerous than cigarette smoke. Five! And I don't believe that at all. And I'm going to tell you why, because if, God forbid, you should ever get cancer, they'll give you pot. <laughs> Isn't that logic? Doesn't that define logic? I mean, I'm not a doctor, but I'm pretty sure if you go to the hospital and you're bleeding to death, that they're not going to stab you a few times. 